Spytite does force that BAC, but still. That's a tick down, I'll take the two tower. They're really just trying to force that spy back in there, about to do it. You know, buy back in. We hot jumps further. Toss that one. She freaking can't even get the grave off. There's the uh usage of the Fiends group coming out, but now that wall will come through. The ghost shift on top of it. Hot skin as well. Swindle in trouble, but limp will come through. I'll try to right-click everybody down, but get stunned up by the unstable concoction. I'll have to pop a BKB. Pike will actually have to leave. He's coming for a healing him up. Meanwhile, we are going to work on this one. All the die back will come through. Dead for 71. Mask will actually go down. Pike going to try to ban mode up against Limp, but it's not really working out in his favor. Pike had about to fall. We'll stay alive, though, but only for a moment longer. Limp gets the grave off from Z Freak. And now, a pretty good fight so far for Complexity. Limp will get yet another kill. Three dead. We are though gets a rampage. As he takes down five, he'll take down a six and get the double rampage coming up from the tiny. Oh my lord, the toss apple. Get the uh, the disable. Are they actually going to fight around this? LGD are teeping in. ROTK is going to make the initiation here. Looks like they're going to bring the Chaos Knight Wiz back to fold here. Eternal Envy going to be the first one targeted. The Wiz actually comes alone by himself. But oh, good. ROTK, the ultimate comes out from maybe, but it's still not enough to eliminate Eternal Envy. The Minus Armor is oh, taking him down, but he's got the heals. And now, oh, it's Doom on maybe. He's never going to be able to get away from this. He's just trying to get some damage out, but even his death animation is not going to be enough to get a kill. Slardar, nice stop there from Misery, but LGD have already called it. They know this game is over. They were fighting for scraps. All game long after that oh, six man wipe in the middle lane. Oh, and it's a rampage for Weeha. They, you know, I think the reason they GG'd at that point, it was like they defended, it went pretty well, but then they had a perfect team fight essentially. Yeah. Great Requiem. They almost got a couple kills. And then there's that terrifying moment where Puppy presses his heal and everybody goes from the almost kill to the half HP. And you know, okay, that's it. There's no comeback.
Dyer's top tower has been denied. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Like that does force have VAC, but still. That's a takes down, I'll take two. Yeah, they're really just trying to force that spy back in. They're about to do it. You know, buy back in. We hog jumps further. Toss have one. See for can't even get the grave off. There's the uh usage of the fiends group coming out, but now that wall will come through the ghost shift on top of it. Hotskin as well as Swindle in trouble for Limp will come through. I'll try to right-click everybody down, but get stunned up by the unstable concoction. I'll have to pop the BKB. Pike will actually have to leave. He's coming for healing him up. Meanwhile, we are going to work on this one. All the dive back will come through. Dead for 71. Masquerade will actually go down. Pycat going to try to ban mode up against Lift, but it's not really working out in his favor. Pycat about to fall. We'll stay alive, though, but only for a moment longer. Lift gets the grave off from Z Freak. And now, a pretty good fight so far for Complexity. Lift will get yet another kill. Three dead. We are, though, gets a rampage as he takes down five. He'll take down a six and get the double rampage coming up from the tiny. Oh, my lord, the toss avil.
Misery pops out the webs and is going to try and lock down one of these heroes. Glimmer Cape buys some time. XD takes some extra damage. Weehaw goes for the Jackal shot. Maybe just a power shot to finish him off. Cool the Brace keeps him alive for a little bit longer. They do get the Witcher's Curse, but doesn't catch Weehaw. Throws out the hook shot. But he dies in the process of getting to him. And now Misery just keeps running forward. That BKB slowing down Garter will catch Q instead. That'll be a second kill going to Team Secret. Now the stun on Nishiki right in front of the fountain. Don't think Team Secret can force that fight just yet, but what they can do is turn around and take this second lane of rest. I don't believe that much they can do about this. They can spam big things, they can do some long range races. Oh, oh, what a shot! You saw Weeha seize the opportunity. Jack will come and just crumble. So who's this rogue of a giant ball? And Shaky, he's left alone against all of this and will die. And that's how we get the, uh, the disable. Are they actually going to fight around this? LGD are teeping in. ROTK is going to make the initiation here. Looks like they're going to bring the Chaos Knight Wiz back to fold here. Eternal Envy going to be the first one targeted. The Wiz actually comes alone by himself. But oh, from ROTK, the ultimate comes out from AV, but it's still not enough to eliminate Eternal Envy. The Miners Armor is oh, taking it down, but he's got the heals. And now, oh, it's Doom on maybe. He's never going to be able to get away from this. He's just trying to get some damage out. But even his death animation is not going to be enough to get a kill. Slardar, nice stop there for Misery, but LGD have already called it. They know this game is over. They were fighting for scraps all game long after that oh, six-man wipe in the middle lane. Oh, and it's on a rampage for Weeha. They, you know, I think the reason they GG'd at that point, it was like they defended, it went pretty well, but then they had a perfect team fight, essentially. Yeah. Great Requiem. They almost got a couple kills. And then there's that terrifying moment where Puppy presses his heal and everybody goes from the almost kill to the half HP. And you know, okay, that's it. There's no coming.